Elliot, tell me about uh, tell me about this car that you're sitting in. Um, what is it? How fast does it go? Things like that. I don't really know that stuff. That's all right. No worries. How long have you been racing for? Um, three years. What do you like about it? Uh, going fast. Is that right? And where do you race? Uh, Brockville, Ontario Speedway. Do you know how big this is? It a dirt track or pavement? Dirt. And do you like the dirt? Does it get dusty? Yeah. But you have a full helmet on and all that stuff? Yeah. And is it noisy with the other cars? Not really, since I have uh, headphones in and I also have the helmet on, so it's not really, but. When you first got in it, if you've been doing this for three years, when you first got into it, was it scary on the track? I mean, I was kind of going slow because just kind of getting used to the pace but now? I go fast. And you love going fast? Yes. What did you win? Um, two trophies back to back for first place in championship. And how many races have you done? Like this year, say roughly, like roughly, are we talking five, 10 or? Nine, 10. Yep, yep, cool, all right. Now, what's the favorite thing? The favorite thing is speed for you. Yes. Who got you into this? My dad. Did he race? Yeah. When he was younger, he would race. Um, yep. Yeah. He would race asphalt. So. Are the kids at school jealous? And the only reason I say that is because I'd be jealous. Because I'd want to do what you're doing. I mean, I don't really know. But I'd love it. Mm -hmm. Do they want to do it? Do they, you ever let anybody else drive your car? No. <laughs> Good man. Yeah. Tell me about the trophies your son won, earned. Okay, uh, the first one, he won the 2020 Rookie Division Championship at Brockville, Ontario Speedway. And then this past year, he won the Junior Two Clone Class, also at Brockville Ontario Speedway. Tell me about the speedway itself. I've never been there, so is it a like is it an oval track or is it? Yeah, it's a dirt oval. It's about a medium size for a for a, a dirt track for karting. Um, Tell me about the kart itself, like the race car itself. Tell me a little bit about it because I don't it's, have a clue. Oh, okay, it's a twenty oh seven. Yeah, it's all right. 2007 uh, CKI Momentum. Uh, it's powered by a, a Honda clone engine. Uh, it's, he's currently running purple plate, which gives it about nine horsepower. What, what speeds are we talking? Uh, his top speed be 50, 54 mile an hour. And what, uh, how many laps are we talking? Like, is this... Uh, his heat races are six to eight laps, and then the feature race would be 20 laps. And for something like this, you've done this when you were younger? I didn't do this. I raced Thunder Cars up at Peterborough Speedway back late 90s, and I've kept involved with racing through friends of mine that raced dirt late models and stuff like that. So, so you just it, thought you'd try him in this, but he yeah, takes a liking to it. Yeah, it took his mom a little bit of convincing to... <laughs> let him do it but she saw how how well it works together with families doing racing and so she gave it the green light i take it there's a different uh size numbers when you're racing but i mean how usually how big is the pack uh in his class this year there was typically nine uh carts in in a weekly race so. and do they come from all over yeah we have people from ottawa uh, we're the furthest ones to the west, um, and a lot are from the Napanee, Kingston area. And roughly how much is a race car? Uh, you can get into it for about 2000 and then, you know, like anything in racing, it can go up from there. Do you worry about your son? Yeah, you're always concerned, but we make certain he's got good safety equipment on, and, you know, it's, he had one good crash this year, and... It kind of shook him up a bit, but he got right back into the cart and for the feature race and ended up driving from the back up to finish second. So.
So last question with this is, uh, he's starting off with the cheapest form of racing. What's going to happen when he gets old? Is uh, who pay who pays for know. the car then? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, actually, right now he pays for a fair bit of a, himself. He over Christmas time he sells bundles of branches for people decorating. So you know he he's got some equity into it himself. But down the road, who knows? We may follow through with uh, some of the entry level dirt classes like uh, novice sportsman's at Brockville or it's all up to him whatever he wants to do if he wants to continue with it then great if not then that's fine as well pretty proud uh back to back oh yeah yeah it was uh it was kind of a surprise this year but uh yeah, the first the first year he he really worked hard on that and, and this year he didn't get any wins but he just consistent finishes and that's, that's what it is the points then eh? so yeah. he got the most yeah. points so therefore he was a yeah yeah okay good